judges in two hours' time, if the speaker was any good. Because we were in the tennis industry, you've read enough resume that said, you know, like, this person, this person, this person played on the tour. I always wonder why everybody played on the tour. I'm not sure quite which tour it was. Maybe it's a bus tour or something. But let's judge today based on what we get out of the end of uh, As my, my, my ex-wife, very nice lady, uh, once said when I was given a big award, that doesn't mean you don't get to clean the bathroom this afternoon. Uh, we like to stay in the real world as much as we possibly can, and those things don't really mean too much. So, uh, first of all, thanks to Bo and his team for all of their efforts in getting me here and the support from the PTA. Um, this is my first time in Mississippi, would you believe that? It is state number 32 for me, so I've done more than most Americans have. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to Alabama, so, that, so you, have to, you know, have to apologize in advance. The fact that I'm going from Mississippi to Alabama, I understand. I do get football a little bit. Yeah. But uh, uh, great to be here. Apologies, I'm only here for a day. But the way I like to do things, as you can say, with coffee in hand, is fairly relaxed, open kind of format. Um, the thing that we all have in common is we all are involved in running, managing tennis programs. But beyond that, we all have different environments, whether it be country clubs or, uh, or traditional clubs or parks and recs or commercial facilities. So the other thing I always say is I never know when I'm going to say anything intelligent. Uh, there is no big handout for this. There are about 60 slides which we will willingly slide and share with you all at the end. Yeah, so don't feel like you have to write down everything on every slide or take pictures. But occasionally we, we get the banana from above, you know, the piece of information that suddenly means something to you. And you know, that's the thing that you write down on the back of a piece of paper something. Uh, there's way too much information for you to implement it all. And I always say, uh, this is not coach education, this is just coach information. Coach education starts when you get back to your club and you try and change something or do something or make something a little bit different. So we all know that we've been to lots of these things before. I am preaching to the converted. But at the same time, um, it's more about what you do after this is finished than necessarily what, what, we, what we share today. Okay. Um, what would be really good for me, and it allow us to find some chairs for the people at the back because you're making me feel uncomfortable. Um, <laughs> what would be really good for me is if you just sat on your table to start with and said, okay, we're going to talk about programming today, especially for kids. You know, what you pro in other words, what you provide for the kids at your facility within your program. What are the things that you, and I'm not necessarily going to ask for feedback, but I want you to frame it on your table. What are the things that you, um, Feel that you do particularly well, that you're successful at, and what are there still the challenges within your program? Just so that you know, kind of, because we're going to, we're going to, it's two hours, so we're going to stop this every once in a while and go, okay, let's discuss this in, around our table and see where we're at. So let's just start with that approach. Just introduce yourself. If you don't know everybody. Okay, what's good, and you know, what are the aces, and what are the like double faults or the five one down and the tie breaks? Yeah, <laughs> just for a couple of minutes. All right, and then we'll let you guys grab a chair. Right? All right, thank you. Robert, you're going to be here. 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 Robert, you